Hi, this is Steve Colgate. Now doing uh, Dockside Chats with Doris. And, <laughs> and Doris has done miles and miles and miles of cooking at sea and uh, on our ocean racer uh, and, and has some tips and some things you ought to consider. With, and she has an iron constitution. She's just amazing. While all this crew is seasick, she comes up with these beautiful meals. Yeah, sometimes that works against you because they won't eat those beautiful meals. Then anyway, um, when we had Sleuth, which is a 54-foot ocean racer, we had 12 to 15 crew on board, mostly guys. Uh, in those days, there were more guys out there on racing boats and there were gals and on our boat we had more guys. Um, but when you do a long distance race, it's really important to plan out every single meal. There's very little space for storage on any of these boats, even though they're huge. Someday I'll show you a picture of the galley. But it was a U-shaped galley, which uh, was extremely important when you're out in heavy seas. Now, if a galley is wide open, usually there's a strap that the uh, cook has to put around them to, to keep them from flying to the other side of the boat while they're trying to cook a meal, if indeed they are. Yeah, sometimes people just don't bother. But anyway, so when we got the boat, I spent a lot of time finding the right pans and pots that could be stored easily, um, some casseroles that would go in the oven, so you could put both casseroles in, one for each watch. Um, we had bowls to eat out of instead of plates because food slides off if you're in heavy seas. I mean, really, honestly, you don't anchor to eat. You keep going. I remember one time when I was cooking down below and we were on, you know, we were, I don't know, really healed over. And so I poked my head up through the hatch and I said to Steve, are we gonna change course soon? Because this is pretty darn miserable. I probably didn't use the word darn. And he said, yeah, we are. And I said, how much? He said, three degrees. I said, three degrees, yeah, okay. Three degrees is nothing when you're down below and you think the course is gonna be changed. So I actually have written a little booklet about what to do for various distance races, how many days and, and what to do, and there's recipes. Um, and uh, even when you make sandwiches, you have to plan out how much bread you're going to have on board for that entire race. And I knew that on average, our crew did one and a half sandwiches per, sit, per sitting. Some, some did two for lunches, others only did one. So it was basically one and a half. And we packaged them back into the bag where the bread came out of. So all they had to do was to pull out their sandwich with a paper towel wrapped around it and, and it just hold it there and be able to sit on the rail and eat it. So there's a ton, a ton of little tricks. Like on a transatlantic race, on that particular one, I did not go because we wanted to have a doctor on board who could also cook. Uh, it was two weeks, and honestly, I didn't want to be on board for two weeks with a bunch of smelly guys. I mean, I'm just going to be honest about that. So, one of the things I did was iceberg lettuce. I packed it really, really, really tight in tin foil. And towards the end of that two weeks, they still had fresh lettuce. So if they wanted a salad, they, they could have it. So there's there's many little tips. Um, I could go on and on, and maybe I'll do a few more chats about it. Um, but planning for ocean racing goes right down to what the cook is gonna do. And it's every single meal in a, in a seal a meal. Most of the meals go straight into a freezer compartment. And if you don't layer them in, in the order of which they're gonna be eaten, at least on the older boats, um, then you're, sh you're shoveling everything out in the course of, uh, of the trip to try and figure out what do you wanna eat. So tons of tips, I can go on and on. Um, send me an email, Doris, at offshoresailing.com if you wanna uh, know a little bit more if, if ocean racing and uh, cooking on board is your thing. Bye.